Welcome here from Indianapolis, Indiana, guys. Aaron Dorr here, just a bunch of the team here with the American Firearms Coalition on the ground right now in Indianapolis. And guys, before we start talking, we want to do a mic check. We want to do a mic check. Can you guys hear me okay? You guys can hear us okay. Give us a thumbs up. Give us some comments. We're not you guys inside right now. I don't know if you can hear that. We're not inside. We're outside. We're right, so we're right, we're right here by Lucas Oil Stadium. The NRA rally is over for the day. We're here in Indianapolis. If you guys haven't seen our banner yet, Back up a minute. It's beautiful. This is one of the banners that we had rolling all over downtown Indy today, asking people, asking rank and file grassroots gun owners, hey, if you see these guys, ask them why they betrayed us on red flag gun seizure law. The audio seems to be fine for what I'm getting lots of thumbs up, so the audio seems to be good. good. We're posting these right now, guys, in various groups. So as the guys here are posting, we're gonna kind of be watching our phones a bunch here tonight. But I gotta tell you, we were out there today from 5.30 a.m. until the, we, we closed the place down, more or less, this afternoon. And gun owners are pissed. I don't know how else to say it. We talked to gun owners from all over the country, all 50 states today. Yeah. Talked to uh, people from Korea today. South Korea was here today. And some Canucks. There were some Canucks talked here to today. Folks. Well, there was a Freshman here today. I mean, there was, there, there was, there was a Freshman yeah. in the house with, uh, with, uh, with Wayne. But people are angry. They're angry that the NRA has betrayed them on fixed nicks. They're angry the NRA has betrayed them on bump stocks. They're angry NRA has betrayed them on, on, on red flag gun seizure laws more than anything else. And guys, if you missed our earlier videos, you may have missed, gosh, we had this truck going around all day. We passed out probably somewhere in the area of, what do we say? I mean, 15,000 flyers uh, to, to gun owners. And best of all, we have what we've kind of come to refer to as the Freedom Flight circling. We had an airplane that we had chartered that you guys paid for yep. rolling all day. Well, not all day, because when President Trump was here, the airspace was restricted, naturally. But he was up there all morning. He was up there all afternoon. And all day we saw gun people walking by saying, what is that? <laughs> yeah. And the message was really simple. We were urging President Trump. It said, President Trump, save us. VetoRedFlags.com. I mean, God, I, I can go on for an hour, but it was a hell of a day. I'm not sure what else to say. I mean, it was just, it was phenomenal. So many people see what's going on here right now. Yeah, I, I think one of the big things that shocked us, and we've been following this red flag issue for a long time, what shocked us, us was that the sheer number of people who understood the issue, they knew exactly what we were talking about, yep. and they already had their ire built up against Wayne Lapierre. And most importantly, Chris Cox, the smooth-haired uh, beta male right up there, they were all very serious about it because, because um, they understand what's going on here. It's the destruction of due process for gun owners. I would say about 90% knew exactly what we were talking about. And of that 90%, I would say the 95% um, completely agreed with us from the outset. They're like, yeah, this is bad stuff. We need to take this seriously. We need to start shutting this stuff down. Well, a lot yeah. of guys also realize, sorry, that this is going to be bad for President Trump too. Not yeah. just, not just yeah. bad for gun owners. They're, they're trying to tell him in their in their uh, Taj Mahal headquarters, the NRA headquarters in in Northern Virginia, that oh, it's okay, Mr. President. This isn't going to hurt you. Nobody's going to care. No one's going to get mad at you. But the number of gun people today who I think immediately understand that it's not just going to be horrible for gun owners it's going to be horrible for president trump that has people angry man i mean they were just they were lighting yeah. that issue on fire today and, and only only an idiot who lives in a taj mahal who was paid six million bucks a year who has never probably hasn't talked to a grassroots gun owner in in, in since the last nra convention yeah only a swamp monster like that could be so stupid Patrick yeah. so arrogant as to say oh it's okay Americans don't care about red flag gun seizures you can take them mr. president it's no problem people are not stupid gun owners are not stupid and these people are, are getting they're getting mad well look look um you know you've got you got Lapierre six million dollar Wayne obviously guys I'll, I'll get that Bye. Bye. sorry guys and um, you know you, there were some people that we ran into who are just total homers they're in denial. 
on and on and on and on and on. You can present them with the information. There's just some people who you're never going to be able to convince of anything, even though when you present them right with the information. Um, and of course, they had just seen many of them, President Trump, take the United States out of the UN Small Arms Treaty. And of course, Trump has his way of, of telling people what they want to hear. Um, and of course, if he does the right thing, that's great. If he does the wrong thing, we'll be the first one to hammer him, guys. But 95%, I don't know what y'all said, I was doing watch parties and, and posting here, guys, but 95% of gunners were very receptive. <laughs> and we were interviewed by a lot of media, uh, Big League Politics, Segment of Daily, we had WIBC and some other people out there, some blogs and other people, guys. A lot of people were seeing this WIBC interview. Um, we made it very clear. They said, what is the difference between the American Firearms Coalition and the National Rifle Association? I said, it's very simple. Those guys are swamp monsters. They live in the swamp, they eat thousand dollar dinners in the swamp, they wear Italian leather shoes in the swamp, they have Italian suits in the swamp. That's not who gun owners are, guys. Gun owners are people like us, people like you, you are hardworking people, blue collar people. There's also wealthy people, gun owners as well, guys. But the grassroots, that is the difference. The American Firearms Coalition, we are like you. Exactly, we are yeah. the grassroots up. And look, guys, we had scores of new members joining today. If you have been thinking unreal. about thinking about becoming a member of the American Firearms Coalition, go now. You, I give you permission to leave the video. Join AFC.org. Join AFC.org. Become a member tonight. You saw what we did yeah. with the truck, with the plane, with the, with tens of thousands of people that saw what we did. We are the only segment organization that I know of who's on the ground or is even fighting this issue at all. So that's what those yeah. were my observations from today. Well, it was great. It was so great because there are people who came up, and again, they knew what red flag gun seizures were. They weren't happy with it, and a lot of them just went, yeah, yeah, I know the NRA is supporting that stuff. But then they got excited. You should have seen, a lot of you saw their faces on Facebook Live. You should have seen their faces because for the first time, they realized there's another organization on the scene, not just the NRA. They know the NRA is going the way of the dodo, <laughs> that they've done too many compromises. When you have dodos run an organization, it goes the way of the dodo. That's just how it works. But these people were so excited because they're going, hey, there's another organization, there's a no compromise organization that actually, I don't know, gets up off the couch every eight, you know, every once in a while and actually does something for their membership and they were so excited to see another national organization taking this head on, taking the fight to, to the NRA, to Wayne LaPierre, to Chris Cox, and to help President Trump realize what we realize, and that is that the grassroots do not support red flag gun seizures. I've never met a gun owner that did, and we talked to thousands tens and tens of thousands and like we said Wayne LaPierre he doesn't talk to gun owners he just just stuffs those pockets guys so that was my observation today people were super pumped to see an organization taking this head-on fighting for them I mean it's hard to argue with an airplane in the sky am I right <laughs> that was good stuff guys so that's what I saw today we got a lot of questions right now on the article that broke in the Wall Street Journal or Washington Times. All over the place. All over the place since this afternoon. And we're going to discuss it here in a moment, guys. But we've been telling you guys all day, we had this airplane chartered for today. And we did. We pulled some of our own personal money. And a lot of you guys it was were very, were very generous it. as well. We had the plane up there today. The pilot has, has cleared his schedule for tomorrow. We have some initial funds to go tomorrow but we, if we can get more money if we can raise more funds our bird can be in the air tomorrow that much longer so guys as you heard from patrick if you haven't yet joined up guys it's joinafc.org joinafc.org and help us fund the plane it's just that simple this plane is going to be up there these trucks are going to be rolling out there tomorrow until we have to shut it down and that's that, that's just the way it's going to be um look but, i had a question People said, are we taking questions? If y'all have a question, if you have a question out there, guys, shoot on one of the watch parties. Oh yeah, we one answer of the videos, as fast as we can. A ask questions. We are on the open book of the American Firearms Coalition, the exact opposite of what is going on. Look, they're staying, the, the NRA is staying at the JW Marriott, massive, beautiful hotel downtown. 
probably hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of hotel rooms and food and probably millions of dollars to be honest with you guys. Yeah, it was six or seven hundred dollars a room a six night. Six or seven hundred dollars a room a night. They are, you could tell who the, the sorry, yeah. the skinny jean loafer wearing expensive suit. And I'm not trying Tofu, to fight with these guys sipping, because yeah. a, lot of the, a lot of those guys probably do give a lot of money and this and that. But the fact is, is that the grassroots are furious bump stock ban, red flag gun seizures, well, fix nicks on and everybody on. Everybody knows how this works. The guys in the ivory towers never suffer under this type of gun control, under these types of restrictions. We know how this works. It'll be you and me. It'll be folks like us. We are the ones who are going to have, hey look, when you live in a gated community in a five million dollar mansion, it's pretty hard to have a crazy neighbor who's going to call you in and have your gun seized during, using a red flag order. But for folks like you and me, we don't have that luxury like Wayne LaPierre has. People like us are going to be the ones who pay the price for this betrayal of our Second Amendment rights. <clears throat> That's how it's going to work. It's how it always works. One of the one of the, the biggest demographics we ran across, or at least I ran across today, was there's a lot of military guys here, either current or active or retired. That's right. And that's the, the one thing they kept hammering on. Once they learned what we were talking about, they're like, yeah, this is going to screw us, us vets more than anybody else. We're going to get the brunt of this stuff. And they're, they're absolutely right. And we've seen this in all kinds of gun control bills in the past, fixed nicks. They've used the NICS background check system to categorically disarm over 265,000 veterans. These red flags, it's a continuation of that war against our veterans. Yeah. So guys, we're going to discuss this article and, and we're going to answer all the questions we can. I, I will point out though that you can see we're, we're outside, outside right now near, nearby downtown Indy. We don't have all of our laptops up. We can't see all of our platforms right now. And the reason and I don't have a phone again is because my phone is powering. This, right, so, so we might be a little bit uh, hard to catch all the questions tonight, but feel free to post them. And we'll get back to you. But this big article has broke this evening at 8.18 p.m. A lot of you are asking about it right now. Uh, headline is NRA CEO Wayne LaPierre alleges the NRA president in a backroom blackmail attempt to get him to resign. Maybe you can see it in my phone here. This article, I mean, we were reading, we were reading a little bit ago having dinner. It's just, it's insane. I don't know how else to say it. I mean, in the last couple of days, 10 days ago, two weeks ago at the most, this huge article drops that shows how Akron McQueen, the NRA's primary marketing vendor, has been doing these backroom Total deals, thieves. backroom thieves. deals for decades. And the way it works is pretty simple. Everybody who has a job at NRA above about the status of uh, the broom sweeper who who mops the floors yep. at night yep. gets a secondary paycheck from Ackerman McQueen, their marketing company. And so, it's, so the way it works then is that they have dueling paychecks. And so nobody at NRA Top Brass, from what the article said, has done any basic due diligence in decades. Shepherding and so money. now it's going on, this is, this is breaking across the country. And so now, and, and the chief amongst them is Ali North, the president of the NRA, who's also a full-time Akron McQueen employee, and he won't even tell NRA members or NRA staff what he gets paid. So Crazy. far be it, far. This is a, a sideline paycheck behind the scenes of reportedly over a million bucks. So, so far be it for me. Isn't that stuff to, supposed to be reported? Far be it for me to come across as the Wayne LaPierre apologist in the, in the four of us. Right. But I mean, it's a weird dynamic because now just tonight they report that last night Ollie North made some kind of a uh, 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 what you, an offer he could not refuse. So uh, let's set the scene though, just real quick. Here's the scene, guys. We were in the JW Marriott Hotel, the top floor. Maybe we went up there, maybe we didn't. But we are aware there is 100% black clad private security where all the big wigs at the NRA are staying. This is the scene. This is like mafiosa stuff, guys. And big presidential suite. So last night, Oliver North got a bunch of big donors. He's the president now, the kind of ceremonial president, got a bunch of big donors and people, and they delivered some sort of offer to Wayne LaPierre. And the report is that Pepe Le Pew LaPierre stormed out of the room, head back to his room, and typed up a letter and all this stuff. And that's what that's what Aaron is getting to right now. Obviously, they know he's a problem, but they're, he's saying it's some sort of extortion scheme. So are there girlfriends? I'm just saying this rhetorically. Are there girlfriends? Are there backroom payments? Um, look, he is being treated like a politician right now. 
which is exactly how he should be treated because you know what? He's acting like one and all of these guys at the top level are acting like one. And I'll just throw it in there again. If you're tired of that bull crap, if you're tired of them when they raise the, the membership dues to 45 bucks, if you're tired of your money going to this type of backroom compromise bullcrap, join the only never compromise organization out there, the American Firearms Coalition. Join AFC.org. Join AFC.org, guys. Keep up the fight. Aaron, back to what? But That's, what was, was that, that was it. Okay, that was sorry. it. So well, I, I stole his but, but, but the whole point here is that you just can't trust anybody. Yeah. Ollie North is trying to make a power play on Wayne LaPierre with an offer you can't refuse, some kind of a black, it says blackmail extortion attempt. Yeah. So, so that happened from, from Ollie to Wayne. Wayne, $6 million, six million Wayne, he's screwing everybody, getting paid from God knows how many places. And in, in the middle of all this high school locker room prom night drama, who the hell is fighting against red flag gun seizures in the Senate Judiciary Committee? I mean, that's the whole point here. These people are so worried about their power, their income, their second income, their third income, and in the case of Wayne LaPierre, his lifetime uh, consulting income. That yeah. was part of the report that came out last week. When he retires, he has a lifetime consulting contract until he dies. So they're all worried about that it that, that that's it power At the same and money funding level Gold, by golden the way. parachutes and yeah, nobody is about. leading the yeah. charge in DC you guys all saw the hearing perhaps i mean we did reports on it live when it happened this is about, about a month ago everybody at the hearing testifies in favor of red flag gun seizures everybody where was the nra where was wayne where was chris they're probably getting their business cards tweaked for Akron and McQueen. I mean, hell, we don't know. That's the point. Nobody knows because they weren't there. And so we had the biggest gun control hearing in the last, in a long freaking time. 15, There's years. nobody there from NRA. All of the Republicans from Charles Grassley, the former chairman, from Josh Hawley, for you folks watching in Missouri, Ted Cruz, for you folks watching in Texas. They loved it. They loved it. They called it a great first step or a great roadmap. I mean, Josh Hawley looking like an idiot, laughing, saying, yeah. oh, this is so great. The only question now is which state version is the best one, you know, to emulate here for a new federal red flag law. So this is the situation. These guys are worried about their private helicopters, all their paychecks, their Taj Mahal offices. In the meantime, our gun rights are slowly but steadily becoming even, a dumpster level. fire when it comes to red flag gun seizure law. And yet, these arrogant people sit here and, 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 and castigate. They've openly attacked the guys you see here by name on yeah. their website. Openly attacked us for daring to call them to account. Which I got to tell you, you know, in, in case... I'm going on a rant here. In case going, Hammer going. the Scammer. <laughs> in case Hammer the Scammer. <laughs> the little Marion. Little Marion. In case Little like, Marion ever Marian. sees... In case, <laughs> In case she sees this, I want you to know, you came out with a half-baked and frankly half-ass attack calling us scammers in today's airplane. That was our response for you, Marion. You want to fight? Hey, we can't meet you money for money. No question. You get paid a boatload. No question. But we're not gonna we're not gonna go down without a fight either. So that airplane today was largely inspired because of your pathetic Damn attack right on guys who are fighting in state capitals on the front line every year for the last, gosh, 10, 11 years now in the fight for gun rights. So Brian, these, Brian, these news stories are going to break. Yeah. Keep watching our Facebook page for more information. So you hear what he's saying right here? So for any FUDs and trolls who are sitting there going, you guys are dividing the gun rights community. You guys are going after the... Let me tell you something. Wayne LaPierre doesn't give a rat's ass about the gun rights community, uh, about division, about separation, about unity. These people are battling for massive paychecks. Massive paychecks right now. Wayne LaPierre is not standing there going, what about the gun owners? What about the people? What about the members? Who's fighting for them? Wayne LaPierre isn't doing that. He's fighting for himself like he's fought for himself for years and years and years. That's the facts of the matter. That's what's happening. We came from all over the country, 
right here to Indianapolis, thanks to you, thanks to you, to fight on behalf of gun owners nationwide to stop red flag gun sieges because we care about gun rights, we care about our freedom, we care about our country, we care about you, we care about your families, we care about your kids and your grandkids, and the legacy of freedom and gun rights that America has right now and is quickly losing thanks to the betrayals of people who should be our friends. We do it again, we'll, we're gonna do it tomorrow and we're gonna do it so much more going forward. These people don't care about grassroots gun owners. They simply do not. Join AFC, go to joinafc.org, become a member. We care, we love you, we love you. Well, That's hey why we're here. We love our families, we love our kids, we love our gun rights. That's why we're here fighting. Go to joinafc.org, get on board, and help us fight for you. Help us get that bird back in the sky tomorrow and keep this fight going, guys. I wanted to, to, to say one thing real quick. Thank you, first of all, for everybody who donated or became a member to the American Firearms Coalition since we started up a couple of weeks ago. Um, just, to, just, to, just to be able, <laughs> just to, be able to come here and do this is an, on, on your behalf is a heck of an honor for us to be able to do that. But I want to give a big shout out to the volunteers that came in from Georgia and Wyoming, yep. and some of my my, my good sure. friends from Ohio, Ryan Marlowe. Yeah, Ryan and was the there guy, all day today with us. The guy's all a rock day. star. He's a killer. He was fantastic. Yes, and uh, one of our life and, members. And that's what this Georgia is all about. It's not. Yeah, it's Stewart, not. Stewart was here all day with us too. Come on over a little bit. Yeah, he was our Ryan first. Come, come on kid. over. You can't see it. We can't see it. Moonwalking across. Slide over. He was our first guest host actually on the Second Amendment Daily Show, but. Yeah. You guys, this is what this is all about. This is a grassroots, bottom-up organization rather than a top-down um, windfall for everybody at the top sort of a, an organization. So thank you so much yeah. for empowering us to be able to fight for you. That's what it's all about. That's what we love the most, and we think it's very, very effective. Yeah. Dave Coriel says, I made my choice. Join AFC.org. That that's thank you. Look, well, I, I want to say I want to say something real quick. Relax. I know Her, Herb Brooks from Georgia is on there. Herb, I haven't talked to you yet. I know you became a life member the other day. If it's the same Herb Brooks who joined, big big contribution. Thank you, Herb. We really appreciate that. If you're considering becoming a member or life member, jump on board. Send us an email or, or a Facebook message, guys, and, and we'll uh, and we'll be certainly uh, happy to talk to you about that. Aaron, you had some some people that we're going to read some tonight. of the names of the folks. I'll let you do this one. Uh, who just joined up here, guys? And again, what we're doing right now is trying to get money for airtime for tomorrow. The flight's gonna, the, the, the airplane costs around 500 bucks an hour. Not cheap, but for what we're getting for it, it's phenomenal. And uh, we're gonna read off some of the names here. I'll let Ben do the first one because this guy is an first MGR one. member. Guys, this guy is a rock star. He's a great. This guy came great out American. to me, came out to the Capitol in Minnesota, stood there side by side with Minnesota gun rights when the session kicked off, when anti-gunners were screaming for red flag gun seizures in Minnesota. He stood there right beside me fighting on behalf of his gun rights. And tonight, Caleb just bought a full hour, a full hour, a full hour guys, a full hour of airtime. Caleb is fantastic. Check out his page, Common Sense with Caleb. This dude, hey, he's got common sense. It's insane. It's fantastic, guys. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you very much. We'll talk soon, Heck my yeah. friend. Man. Caleb just joined up, guys. We've got uh, Donald uh, just joined up from Badger, Minnesota, with a very generous contribution. This is all at joinafc.com. We're seeing two Minnesotans in a row here, maybe a third. Uh, finally, we got good old Iowans in the house. We got Helen. From Ottumwa, Iowa, good people out right, there. Ohio, just joined up. up with the uh, with the Come American on, Firearms Coalition. We got John, just made a donation just now from Hollis, New York. Good to see some New Yorkers here. Yeah. You know, I, I talked to some uh, some folks here from New York State, and you know, one of the common refrains that I heard from them was, "Well, I'm not surprised. NRA has done nothing to help us in 30 freaking years in New York State, and uh, they've raised money off of us for decade after decade after decade." And they've done nothing to help us in New York State for 30 freaking years. So not surprised to see about folks from uh, from New York State get involved. We got uh, Thomas just joined up just now, guys, from St. Peter's, Missouri. Good to see Missourians in the awesome. house. 
And we have a lot more information for you guys on Missouri next week. Lots of stuff happening down there or not happening. We got Donna from Forbes, Minnesota, just joined up at joinafc.org. We've got Robert just joined up from St. Louis, Missouri. Very that's fantastic. We've got, uh, let's see here, um, Michael from uh, Steelville, Missouri. Just That's like three Missourians in a row here, guys. Just hey. joined up, guys, with the joinafc.org. The money we raise tonight keeps the bird in the air. It's just that simple. The money we raise tonight keeps, this, keeps truck this truck rolling. It keeps these volunteers that we have out there, you know, operational. We're printing off more flyers tonight in the hotel, I think, if we have to. We, we, we ran, all of our flyers that we had folded, we, we ran out. Yeah. We had thousands of flyers folded and ready to go, and we exhausted those by yeah. 1 in the afternoon. Yeah, or, 2 o'clock. And so all these things are going to help. Uh, these uh, these 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 program costs we have right here, and this is our best, this is our best and maybe last shot to get President Trump's attention. Yeah. If he realizes, if he realizes that, yeah, you know, if, if his if his detail tells him, hey, Mr. President, you know, there's a plane overhead today with a, with a message to you. I'm sure he's heard this by now. It's all over the media down here, and he says, well, no. What did it say? They said, please save us, Mr. President. VetoRedFlags.com. You know the guy's grabbing his phone. You know he's grabbing his yeah. phone. The phone's always in his hand, so he didn't yeah. have to grab much. You know he saw it, and if he could come out there, if he listens to this and says, you know what, maybe I'm being sold a bill of goods from NRA Top Brass, he might yet help us Because kill this we thing. can tell you from firsthand experience, the NRA's membership is not with them on this. They have zero support from their membership for this red flag ERPO push that that idiot right there is pushing for. We yeah. know from firsthand experience now. Yeah, exactly. True. A lot of a lot of our members are NRA members, at least the Minnesota Gun Rights. A lot of them are the same and we've never I've never spoken to one. I've spoken to tens and tens of thousands of gun owners personally and I've never met one that said, "You know what?" I think that's a good idea. I think we should have ourselves some no due process, constitution shredding, red flag gun control. I like that. It's a great idea. It never happens, folks. As I say, Jamie says, not a member yet. Need to snatch the bank card from my husband, but don't worry. I'll sign his butt up too. We love it. We love, love it. Joinafc.org. Look, look, one of the great things about being up here, guys, is there, there were NRA board members it's everywhere. There's like 60 or 70 I knew you of these were guys. From Ohio, Jamie. One of these guys is from Georgia, former congressman Bob Barr. I saw him on the corner. He's about this tall. I'm up here, you know. But anyways, uh, I don't want to make fun of him too bad. But he had his he had his cowboy boots on, but they were like you know Italian cowboy boots and all this stuff, guys. And I said, Bob, what's going on? I mean, are you guys gonna get Lapierre out or whatever? And he just stumbled and bumbled about his words and this and that. You know, it was a relatively cordial conversation, guys. But there is dissension in the ranks, and it is coming because of the pressure that you are putting yes. on guys it is yes. the social media posts yes when, when when they call you on the phone hi this is so and so in the basement of some ghetto building somewhere asking to give money to the nra and you say hell no i'm not giving you any more money they hear about it they see it on the bottom line okay they hear about it when they send their direct mail emails out and you respond to them when you when you call them at waples mill road or whatever and say i'm a patron or benefactor life member and i've joined up with georgia gun owners or iowa missouri ohio or the american firearms coalition they are taking notes this is a big operation yeah. and so these board yeah. members they're talking to each other they know people in different departments and there's a lot of dissension there now we are and somebody said earlier the reason i'm saying this is because um walt says my nra membership is now over I'm supporting you guys. Georgia is in the house. Somebody said earlier, they said the American Firearms Coalition has started a wave that is building wave after wave after wave after wave. So that is exactly why it's so important. Exactly what we're trying to, to do. To, as long as we have social yes. media, guys, the goods and the bads of it, like and share videos, send them to your friends on private messages, share it on your page, put it in groups, do watch parties, join up with join. This AFC. is how you work. fight back. Exactly. And look. We weren't just sitting here talking on a video. We were spending money online this weekend, guys, on email, social media, and everywhere. Yeah. That is how you help us. You know, let's say you give 25 bucks. Well, that may reach 350 gun owners who are at the facility or somewhere else. It's just, that's how we do things, guys. Um, we've been doing this for a long time now. We're keeping up the fight, but we can't do it. Us four guys are just, you know, I mean, it's y'all who are doing the fighting. 
keep it up, keep up the heat, pressure, pressure, pressure. Most importantly, at the end of the day, yeah, the NRA is having all this fighting, but we got to kill this bill. Game over, end of story. Mm -hmm. Stop red flags, veto red flags sure. com. Join up with joinafc.org. Yeah. Guys, you know, I got to kind of look at our phones. Well, but. It's, you mentioned that. I got a call last week from a gun owner who said, I've been an NRA member. I'm not an NRA member anymore, but the NRA called me and the gal says, will you donate, you know, X number of dollars to the NRA? And he said, hell no, I won't. I won't. Not when you support red flags, not after all your betrayals, fix nicks and the bump stock ban. I will not support the NRA because of red flags. And the girl, this is what the guy told me. He said, she goes, yeah, I've been hearing that a lot lately. Have a nice day. You know, because gun owners, they've had enough. This isn't a one-off. This is this is a movement of gun owners who are standing up and saying, what have I gotten? What have I gotten for for the last 20 years? What, what, what have we gotten from the NRA? Sure, they like to stand up and take credit when the grassroots make great accomplishments, but what have they actually done with all those millions? Well, right the, the, the story is unfolding everywhere. We're finding out exactly where the money is going. This is the answer to your question. These stories, what Aaron was talking about, kickback deals, massive, massive bloated paychecks to the top brass of the NRA, two paychecks, three paychecks, maybe four paychecks. That is where NRA members' money has been going to. Not at the American Firearms Coalition. That's not how we operate. It's never how we've operated in our state groups, in Minnesota gun rights, Iowa gun owners. That's not how we've ever operated. We're not going to do it now with AFC. Guys, what do you want to talk about? Well, this is, hold on a second. Once. Right, so we're getting some of the comments here. Sorry, I didn't mean, cut no, you off right. that hard. <laughs> what do I care? Go away. What do I care? I'm just a redheaded stepchild wearing an orange winter jacket. Look, we're getting. Here. All, 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 uh, all awesome. kid aside, getting a lot of questions right now about people saying, you know, we get it. The NRA is screwing us over. We get it. They're saying, but why, why you guys? Why not other national gun rights organizations? And so we're going to talk about that for a moment. We've got great friends at GOA. We know the guys at GOA. Yeah. Uh, we're not by any means trying to uh, talk smack about the guys at GOA. But there is a difference. There is a difference. Before Look, you just goodness. you cannot fight the way we fought in the 90s anymore. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know how else to say it. You have got to fight nasty you have got to fight in the gutter you've got to be willing to go places and do things that people other people just simply aren't willing to do and i don't know how else to describe that besides saying we put a freaking airplane over top of the freaking nra convention center today and if an anti-gun lawmaker in some state capital thinks that we're not going to do that in their state capital Bro, we're doing it in the NRA heck, uh, convention. We'll do it to you, too. We'll there be. is no limit to what we'll do, as long as it is moral and ethical, to crush gun grabbers any way we can. Any way we can. State capitals, anywhere in between. Federal stuff. This is what we're talking about today. You just can't, you cannot fight the way we could fight when Al Gore was the vice president. No. We can't Preach fight the it. way that we used to do before uh, social media was the dominant media. We need to be aggressive. We need to hurt these people. I'm talking politically speaking for anybody who's too stupid to get what I'm saying here for the trolls who are on this page. So are there other groups out there? Yes. Are they all as corrupt as the NRA? No, no. But are they willing to fight? Are they getting, are they getting their knuckles bloodied and their own face bloodied because you know what combat's a two-way street that's right if your organization that you're donating to whether it's the state level or the federal level isn't being talked smack about by all the media if most of the lawmakers don't hate them if the lobbyists i saw lobbyists today from the yeah. iowa capitol who were calling me out walking by it was a very short caustic conversation i can assure you if the lobbyists if the media outlets, if if if, uh, if the media is not attacking the the gun rights organization you're donating to, that's a bad sign. If everybody says, "Oh, that organization, that's a respectful organization," that's a bad sign. This is not about respect. This is a fight for the grandkids that I hope to have one day. And in the time for being nice and saying, "Please, sir," you know, "Yes, ma'am," these people is over. 
because all you got to do is look at the radical left now, and I apologize my voice, but the radical left has taken off their gloves now a long time ago. That's why he, keep, he keeps saying that the way we fought back in the 90s, it's over. It is over because the left is not fighting that way anymore. Man, I can't yeah. even talk. Well, he's 100%. We saw what happened with Kavanaugh. We saw what happened with them. They're beating, they're beating on the doors. They're screaming. They're shouting. I mean, we've had, I've had security guards in the Minnesota Capitol pulling Moms Demand Action activists off my back. They're jumping on my back, violently spitting, attacking, clawing, and being pulled off by security guards. These people are fighting Ooh. like animals. And if we're gonna walk into the Capitol. Or into Congress and go, oh please, Mr. Senator, I'd, I'd really, oh, I'm suit and tie. We don't look like that pretty boy over there. Stupid. We're gonna lose. Are you pointing to me? We're gonna oh, point yeah, at old Chrissy, old Chrissy Cox out there. there. You know, we're gonna lose this fight if we don't fight harder. Okay? I've been serious. Fight all like day. patriots. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Fight, just fight like the people who came before us fought. They didn't That's look nicely yeah. and smile and blow kisses at the British as they tried to confiscate our guns, they shot them. Dad. And we're fighting back, we're fighting back here politically right now to stop this gun control to save our country and we have to get nastier. We gotta get nastier, folks. A lot of folks here are joining that fight tonight. We'll read off some of the names here again. We got Francis from Abbotsford, Wisconsin. Just made a nice, uh, very generous contribution to the American Firearms Coalition at joinafc.com. Uh, org. org, excuse me. So, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Uh, Robert from Grant Pass, Oregon, just joined the American Firearms Coalition. Pretty very Oregon. much. Oregon. They call it Oregon. Trip, Oregon, Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, don't give me that crap. Oregon well, I got trip, some. Right? I got some volunteers behind the camera from <laughs> Wyoming who are always talking smack about. Look, I played the Oregon Trail when I was a kid. What yeah, can I right. say? That's, that's what that's I. Right. And they said Oregon Trail. So. Oregon. Anyway. Oregon all right. Trail. Whatever. Wilmar, or Wilmar, Minnesota. Exactly. Kyle is in the house. Just joined up at joinafc.org. <laughs> Org. 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 Judas. Sorry. We've got uh, Michelle just joined up from Ooh. Florida. Very much. I appreciate that very much, Michelle. Come on, Ohio. Got, get in uh, this. We've got get Don in just joined up from Boise, Ohio. I'm sorry. Jeez the weed. It's been a long... Boise, hey, Idaho? I was up at 4.30 Boise, yeah. and I went to bed at 1.30, so I'm sorry. By the uh, way, folks, it is not cool. easy. It is not easy getting these things on in the middle of the pouring rain when it is blowing 30 miles an hour. It's terrible. If you're so for you get for, up there again. so for for Boise, Idaho, yes. appreciate that. Uh, of course, the only group in Idaho you ever want to look at is Greg Pruitt and the guys with Idaho Second Amendment Alliance. Check out ISAA if you're in uh, Idaho, not Ohio. And uh, Ben, does that name ring the bells to you from Minnesota? Oh hell yeah. Then do oh, wow. it. Take it. Brian. Brian, man. Uh, Brian Becker from Minnesota just bought uh, one hour of flight time, $500 of flight time for tomorrow for this airplane. This guy, thank you, man. Thank you. I, I, Minnesota rocks, by the way. Yeah, I just want to say yeah. that. Minnesota's <laughs> yeah. bringing it home right now. Yes. They um, are. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank People you. are asking how to join. Joinafc.org. Joinafc. J O I N A F C dot O R G. Joinafc.org, guys. Joinafc.org. You have some more to read, or do you want me? So look, we have getting a lot of questions about the flyer, guys. What do we get out? 10, 15,000 of these, and e and for every one that we didn't get out, we were saying stop red flags or explaining to people yeah. what red flags are, guys. But here's the flyer. Uh, and Three whole and, cases of paper, nearly three whole cases Yeah, a, a lot, almost 15,000 of these boogers. Um, higher, okay, right we're good, right, right there. Perfect. So a lot of y'all have been asking about this flyer. We'd be happy to link this on our website. Uh, I don't know if we can do it tonight or, or another day, but, but we'll do it. We'll send it out on email, we'll post a link. We'll probably do live tomorrow morning. I don't, I don't wanna make any promises here, but if y'all wanna pass these out in your communities, gun shows, um, with your local second amendment organizations. You can see it. it's probably, you gotta take a second to read it, but um, it basically says Pepe Le Pew Lapierre and Chris Coxix are, are selling you out on this dangerous red flag gun seizure bill, fix snakes and bump stock ban, guys. Um, but this is what, these were lit, not lit, yeah, some people threw them away because they were haters and losers and in denial, um, in denial of what the NRA is doing. But look, um, 
Cherie wants a flyer. I know Cherie Roberts. She always, yeah, Cherie wants one. We'll get you one, Cherie, eventually, but um, as soon as possible, actually. But um, so if you're a member, these aren't free. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't want to keep going back to that, but go to joinafc.org. Um, you know, this this is we have to print all this stuff and everything, guys. And um, and we blanketed the, the facility with it today. And, and like we said, we had the plane going, we had the truck going. We had the feather flags going, we had some digital, we had email, we had social media. Yeah. Pound, 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 pressure, 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 so pressure. That is how ben, we win. Ben, it's ben just keeps, like war. Yeah, Ben keeps talking it's about like this. It's like political war. You know, people always say, well, what are you doing with your money? Well, you can physically see what we're doing with the money that you're giving us. We're not getting paid a red cent, not one dime, not a penny, any of us to be here to do this. Um, but everybody always asks us, well, what do we get for you? What do you guys... Um, do with our with the money that we give you now you can see it right here we're not giving out uh, you know what do you, what do you call them made in china <laughs> yeah. baseball caps or, or stuff like that yeah, yeah somebody's asking last night said well you guys were asking for 35 dollars for a membership uh you know what do i get for my dues what do i get for my for my money rather Fighting. you know can i can i get some some swag and what's the like we told these guys last night you know if you want 34 dollars worth of gear for your $35 membership, you know, then join the National Association for Gun Rights. If you are always if you, giving away If you garbage. want to join some bull, bull crap organization yeah. like that, That's that, will, the place that will fill your mailbox with, with crap, Spare. go there. Yeah. Go there. But if you want to see your money put 100% to these battles right now, this is the place to go. We're not going to, look, sometime down the road, can we get... Uh, the the, uh, the size we need to do a whole bunch of swag sure our state groups do what we can absolutely that time's gonna come there's a lot of political but, fighting but in, that needs we're in to a be gun, done we're in a gunfight right now yes we're in, we're in a gunfight right now and the, the fight has to be made when the fight is underway and so since everybody else is MIA in Washington DC nagger if it, if it doesn't even know who they are anymore I doubt it GOA and NRA, they're all MIA. That that rhymes anyway. That's pretty yeah, good. Well done. Hey, it worked pretty good. They're all MIA. They're all MIA. And when the gun when the when the gunfight's going on, someone's gotta shoot back. And our airplane today was up too. there doing that. And thanks to Caleb and Brian. Brian. Brian, we just got two more hours locked in for tomorrow. So we're already up to three hours tomorrow because we had one for sure already to go uh, lined up. So we're already locked in for three hours tomorrow. I know he's taken off at 7 a.m. So now we're going to be up there at least, at least until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Hopefully there's no rain tomorrow. Hopefully there's yeah, no yeah. problem yeah. with the uh, the ceiling. He has to be a thousand feet and, uh, and, uh, and three mile visibility to do what we're doing. That's what he has to do. And yep. today was tight. Yep. Today was tight. But tomorrow I think is going to be a yeah. lot better. So in a very real way, tomorrow when we go live and we show that airplane, Brian and Caleb will be able to stand there and go, That's my plane, That's my plane. Because it is. That's my plane. <clears throat> I paid for that airplane to be in the sky. And we <laughs> told you, we told you the day we announced the American Firearms Coalition, we said, every step of the way you will get to see what we're doing with your money to fight for you you'll never find us go dark and fundraise for 10 years and just and then you'll sit there and go where's all my money going i'm sending all this money to the american fires going where's it going that will never happen we're not the nra we are none of these other organizations Losers, a lot of them Se losers. Segway riders. Uh, they, they ride you know segways who you're talking. with you're goofy stuck. helmets. It's, well, it's not, not even okay. just that. This is, this is fun. Yeah. We want Segway, you guys yeah, to be involved. We love what we do. We love getting to hammer some gun grabber, or in this case, you know, a crazy Frenchman who's given up 25 years ago. We love to expose the enemies to your gun rides, and we have a hell of a lot of fun doing it. Yes. So the last thing we yes, want to yes, do yes. is like hide it. We right. want you guys to know what's yeah. going on because this is, this is, this yeah. is, this I is mean, great I got, stuff. I got a huge kick turning that camera up there and zooming in on that banner today. <laughs> I loved it. I was like, let's just see how we can fit it in there. It looks so beautiful. It's the most, probably the most beautiful banner that's ever flown over <laughs> Lucas Oil Stadium. We love it. That's why we're here. That's why we're doing this. You, again, you will always be able to see what the American Firearms Coalition is doing with your money to further the cause you believe in. 
and that is American freedom. That is total freedom of our gun rights and gun control defeated. That's our goal. That's what we're here for. Check it out. I love it. Go to joinafc.org. Joinafc.org. Become a member right now. Become a member right now. Joinafc.org. And a bunch of folks continue to do so right now. John from Savannah, Georgia, just bought a quarter hour of flight time for tomorrow. John from Savannah, Georgia, thank you so much for that, sir. We've got uh, Matthew uh, from Chantilly, Virginia. Fantastic. Just got involved with the, the spy here. The old Dominion's in the house. Old Dominion's yeah. in the house. That's right. We got Oakdale, New York. More New Yorkers. We love it. Yeah. Michael just Yankees. got involved here. Appreciate that. We have a, a good friend uh, to all of us, Deb from Belfouche, South Dakota. Just made a very nice uh, contribution. Thank you very much for that, Deb. We appreciate that. That's two folks today from Belfouche, South Dakota. Wow. Our good friend, Jim Trimble. And our good friend, Thank Deb, you, just made a very nice contribution to help us fund this program. It's a small town, but they got a lot of great people out there in yes, Belfast. they do. And they have a hell of a rodeo, because I was out there for it two years ago on July 3rd, and it was uh, it's just phenomenal people, the most patriotic people. Everybody's wearing the same kind of shirt that uh, Stuart here is wearing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. at this, uh, at, you got to come show them your shirt, man. Everybody's wearing, uh, flex, flex. The everybody's wearing these shirts out there in the middle of the, in, in the heartland out there, guys. Yeah, you got to be on screen, man. So we'll push you this is happening, guys, right yeah. now. I happening. love this. People like Bruce here are heroes. They're the best Americans there are. There's good ones and there's not so good ones. I, we know this. We know Bruce says, I just want my children to be able to bear arms come of age. Keep up the good fight, guys. That's what we're here for. That's all this is about, is making sure our children and our grandchildren have the freedom that we have now. We'd like for them to have more. We'd like to you know, maybe gain some ground back to the NRA and their infinite non-wisdom have given away over the years. We'd like to give our children and grandchildren more freedom than they had before. That is what the American Firearms Coalition is all about. So, Bruce, hey, you're an American yeah. hero, man. You're Samuel the asked a question. Samuel says, why do you think these guys are supporting red flags? I was asked that question today probably 50 times. At least. Uh, it's, a, it's a very sincere question. It's a very uh, difficult question to wrap your mind around. And I've been very honest. I always tell them, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Were they always this bad? Uh, has the swap got that murky in Waples Mill in Virginia? They can't see out their own Taj Mahal? Is it all about the money, the power? I always come back with, I think it's all the above. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't yeah. know. And, and frankly, it doesn't really matter, to be totally honest. They're not fighting. Yeah. And, and more than that, they're actively supporting this stuff. So, well, you know, we know I this. can't answer that question 100% I mean, We, we for know you. this for sure. Swampy lobbyists, swampy lobbyists who spend 24 hours a day in state capitals or in D.C. for years, they develop allegiances to politicians, to people they should not be in bed with, to people they should not be allying themselves with. I mean, Harry Reid, for heaven's wow. sake, got an NRA, A rating, and $5,000 of PAC money. Harry Reid. So you can sit here and ask, why is the NRA doing this? For all we know, Wayne LaPierre is just, you know, buddies with Dianne Feinstein. or <laughs> doing a favor for somebody. We don't know, but we know that the swamp corrupts, and it's corrupted these two guys, and that is why Red Flags is on the top of the NRA agenda. Well, look, I want to show you all this picture from last night. I don't know. You may have to get that, Ethan. Um, this is what we posted last night. I mean, it wasn't complicated, right but look. Pepe Le Pew LaPierre. Can you see it? Direct Down. him, Ethan. Direct him. So that was last night. So that was in 2010. LaPierre and Chris Cox. There they are. The two guys that are on our, that are on our screen. There you got it. The two guys that are on our billboard up there, guys. <laughs> They gave $5,000 to Harry Reid, who's the former Democrat Senate Majority Leader from Nevada, who pushed through Elena Kagan and Sonia Sotomayor in the Supreme Court. Those two guys, with the guy who hates our guns out in Vegas because he got $100 million for some gun range, you see they're, they're in bed with these guys. That's how things work. That's how these guys work. 
They didn't think anybody would really notice or expose them, but they gave him $5,000 of NRA members' money. Right. Those two guys right up there, LaPierre and Chris Cox, okay? And right, now guys, oh, the chickens are right, coming home to roost, you know? One last, one last check here, guys, of our latest supporters. We've got the, <laughs> hey, we finally drug one of our volunteers, one of our, young, our youngest brother got out here tonight, helped us pass out flyers all day today. In, uh, in Indianapolis, and we got for those to... trolls of you out there, yes, we will try to stick him in his own state That's and beat the sure. hell out of a whole nother state legislature. <laughs> One yeah. last check of supporters here who are helping us. Shane no from end. Warba, Minnesota, just got involved moments ago. We've got, uh, let's see here, Clarenda, Iowa. Michael just joined up. Michael was in the office last week. Getting his shirts with the American Firearms so Michael, you're killing it, man. Thank you so much. Guys, that's what we have for you right now. This has been a heck of a day down here. We're going to be going out tomorrow early, which is why we're trying to get signed off on yeah. time tonight. It's going to be a huge day tomorrow. This plane's going to be in the air for at least three hours. Uh, frankly, the most enjoyable part of my day today was with Ben at the airport in the pouring down rain, watching that plane go kapoosh, pull that banner up. Yeah. But tomorrow, I think the whole group is coming because they were all pretty jealous. Oh, yeah. So we'll be out there tomorrow. You'll see our plane take off. He's going to lift off right at 7 a.m., barring some kind of a weather calamity again. But hopefully we're good for tomorrow. If you want to watch it, it's going to be 7 a.m. Eastern time. Security? 7 a.m. Eastern. Kind of shot it and like uh, it's going to happen, guys, tomorrow lot. morning. Well, so. We'll be Why? out there, guys. That's well, that what we have right up, now. More petitions, <laughs> more flyers being passed out. This truck rolling through downtown Indy. We'll have it all going Facebook Live tomorrow. You guys have a great night here join, from Indianapolis. Join have a good night, everybody. Join AFC.org, guys. Yes, Georgia, Georgia, you need to win this battle. We're still having a membership battle out there now. We can't no, let these Yankees. You're not. You're way there ain't no battle let left. Yankees Minnesota beat us. won this. The Yankees won, man. We can't let the Yankees oh, beat us. Victorious. All right, Join guys. Join ggo.org. Join ggo.org. Oh Talk God. to y'all later, guys.